going to be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. Ready to roll? Not just yet. Well, come back when you are.
Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. Dylan's? Finally! <sighs> Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so... Dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself. But louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. <gasps> oh, oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so... Hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Sure, what's the victory? Two months. No technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> yeah, my favorite spot. The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should, we should probably, you know, get back. Oh yeah, worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you? Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All. Everyone, same.
Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take uh, care of my own bag, thank you. Wh are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. Has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking, dumbass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <laughs> oh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. <laughs> cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. Well, up to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. We had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. 
Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, man. dude, I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. He said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... Meet you at the van, okay? So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh, uh oh, I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner, I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to push you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, it's a, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? This is just important to me. You know what's important to me, Ryan? Trying to run a successful summer camp. I'm still trying to make up for the losses from last year. Uh... Terrified kids are bad for business. Phone calls I get from scandalized parents, nightmares, thumb-sucking, bedwetting. Think about that the next time you're flipping some yarn about the, uh, the... The, the Hagger Hackett's... Just... Think next time, champ. Use the old skull muscle. Yeah, it was just a fun story that weirdo kid told me last month. Hey, there's no weirdo here. At Hackett's Quarry, everyone's their own brand of cool. You cancelers gotta be the responsible ones. Keep the kids happy. Keep the kids safe. So knock it off. Yeah, of course. I mean, we are. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. 
Caleb works at the scrap yard during the off season and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. I unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left uh -huh. him. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Ugh. Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm... <sighs> Holy. Everybody back. Now, now, now. <clears throat> Jacob, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I got this. Ah, jeez, dude, I was trying to help. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Ron. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, what was that about? Yeah. Uh said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. What are 
you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Party. I, I didn't mean. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. I'm sorry. He made me promise. Dude, he won't <sighs> even know. I don't know. No, no, dude, we get it, all right? You don't want to disappoint daddy. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris Boo! told me to do. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby. You go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you've found. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes... With temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. I was hoping you'd say that. You'd better be going. 
It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Well. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Whoa! And scene. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You listened it for me. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, I. <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. I think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melons. Oh. See? You just cut a hole in it? Mm-hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. this crap. <laughs> Hello, old friends.
can't pass up an opportunity like this. Okay, have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to. Oh my. <laughs> All right, now where should I hide? Jacob! Emma? Hello? Look, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. No, they're... they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean... yeah. <sighs> well... Do you think it's funny now, little boy? I... oh, because... You want to join 20 of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal? I... I... What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. This goes locked. <laughs> Jacob, come check this out. Oh, uh, <laughs> all righty then, door. Buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Done. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Fucking mother love. Good golly, Miss Molly. I wonder he kept this place locked up. Think he'll be pissed when we made a stash? What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um, <clears throat> human rights or whatever. Sure. Yeah. All right. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh, hell yeah. <clears throat> In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Jacob, check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. You look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Did a bear do this? Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool! And, a uh, code. Okay. I'm done. Oh, 
So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well, I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> what else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. W oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. <sighs> oh, dude. Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops what are butter pops <laughs> no what <laughs> i can't believe it um okay um <clears throat> pop pop peanut butter butter pops <laughs> pop 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 them in your mouth pop. oh my god they're like the greatest snack of all time what are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No. No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait. Is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look. They predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. Oh my god. Oh. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh. I see. <sighs> Ladies first. Um, yep. Which way?
All right. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure. Just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Let me guess. Right now you're listening to one that has eerie music fade-ins and a mysterious demeanor and a broken syllable raspy voice and a mysterious lonely guy in his mom's basement getting hard for Area 51 and Bigfoot. I, I, sorry, not that you're into that stuff. I didn't mean to. Mm, I mean, whatever. I like it anyway. You know, I'd give it a listen. I mean, I don't care either way. No, Ryan, I'm gonna do this for you. What is the podcast called? Bizarre yet bonafide. You're trying not to laugh right now because it kind of sounds like boner, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Unbelievable. <laughs> So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children gonna have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know, he's cool. It's always been cool to me. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Dude, what if we're out partying tonight out in the woods and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation? Like when people hunt other people? Yeah. Yeah. What? I mean, think about it. It's camp is over and hunting season has just begun. True. What if, what if, okay, bear with me here. What if what's on the menu tonight is us? Well, then I guess we would need to protect ourselves. Exactly. That's why we need the gun mm. for protection. Yeah. Not going to happen. What about for fun? No? Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, totally. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. Your call, man. Can't you, like, speed it up at all? I can try to encourage them. Go for it! You guys can do it! It's not working. It's, we're gonna have to wait. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date, uh... Mmm, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode, though. Hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? It's weird, I thought I heard someone. Huh. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Well, 
Hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> Yeah, I guess it goes to the basement. Huh. But why would Mr. H have a secret trap door in his office that goes to the basement? Maybe it was here before this was his office. He's like a million years old. This has always been his office. It's probably for storage. Yeah, or so that he can make a quick getaway when the heat comes down. Uh, okay. Or it's for storage. Go ahead, open it up. Looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so. You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. <laughs> What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh, dang. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just <laughs> shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> Come on, he's not good now. Okay, just be careful. What do you think I'm gonna do, break it? Come on. Oh. That's a design flaw. Mm. <laughs> oh, Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Yo, leave the gun alone, man. You got it, boss. Dylan, what the fuck, man? I'm sorry. I just really, really want to know what it feels like to hold it. Um, I told you to leave it alone twice. Yeah, sorry. Cut it out. Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's... You're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but... Nothing but net. <laughs> you're using that wrong. Huh. 
Huh. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the cam. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like, uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. So, okay, I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, maybe he likes the podcast that you listen to. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Brian. It, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but... It, it's It's gotta be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's, it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving the secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun.
Nice. Full up. So, got anything going on when you get back home? School or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the, uh, phones? Oh, uh, yeah, probably. You want to check? Oh, let's just give him another minute or two, just to be sure. Nice. Full up. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool, let's go. Thank you. <sighs> this would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah. They're like burning or whatever. <laughs> Think we've got enough? Uh... Not yet. <laughs> 